I, I think it's great because this time is actually going to bring alive the vision I have for education. We're suddenly realizing that grades, marks, assessments, exams are not supposed to be the focal point of education. It, it, it has to be something else. Um, OK, so now I'm going to ask you another question, uh, now education related. That, uh, you know, uh, what we're finding as a trend is that parents of K-12 schools, uh, ex except in places like Gujarat, <laughs> are paying their fees, right? Because they're seeing uh, it not as a uh, one-year investment, they're seeing it as a 12 to 16-year investment. Whereas right. parents, who, parents who've got children in the preschool years are not paying their fees because they're saying, okay, you know, if if I, I, it's only a one-year investment. So what do you feel is going to happen to these standalone preschools that may have to continue with rents and salaries um, if, if parents refuse to take admissions in, in preschools? That's a very impactful question, uh, Lena. Uh, pandemic has taught us one thing, aggregating of resources, aggregating of minds, aggregating of thoughts. All the preschools will have to become a part of larger establishments, become into joint ventures and start sharing the resources and become a part of the revenues. That is the only way forward. Otherwise, preschools for one year are going to sustain some hit. Parents out of the fear might not extend services uh, or might not take the services of preschools for some time, for a couple of months or probably an year. But this is the right time for all the preschools to come into the mainstream with the main schools, become a part of them and then take whatever format of association. It might be equity participation, it might be revenue sharing or it might be resource sharing, whatever might be the formula. But there is a solution for every problem. You need to ideate, you need to think, you need to decide and you need to move forward. There is no uh, no point in putting up your air, hands in, in the air in despair and give up. There are so many interesting solutions and my belief is I'm an optimist person. My belief is this world has got fabulous solutions which you never thought before. The, the God has given us enough 45 days for us to think, ideate and come out with solutions on the basis of the challenges that we are facing and moving forward towards a glorious future.